Hello, in this video, I want to talk about something called polar coordinates. Okay, what are polar coordinates? And I've been, I've been making all these videos, coding challenges, where this scenario comes up over and over and over again. I have a point here, call this point x, y. I have, uh, relative to that point, I have some sort of angle. Call that angle, angle. What if I want to find a point out here based on that angle and a distance to that angle? So this is what I mean by polar coordinate. A, a Cartesian coordinate is an x, y coordinate in a, uh, named for the French mathematician René Descartes. It's uh, <laughs> an x, y coordinate um, in a two-dimensional space. So we, we move over x spaces, we move up y spaces. In the computer graphic system, you know, we've got the We've got the flip thing where we move over x spaces, we move down x spaces, and that's x, y. A polar coordinate is thinking about a coordinate that is defined by a radius or a distance, for a distance um, and an angle, often using the Greek letter theta to define that angle. The pro the reason the, so both of these are useful ways of thinking about points in space. If I want to do a spiral pattern, polar coordinates are going to be really useful because I could just change that angle and maybe shrink the radius and I've got a spiral pattern. The issue is that all drawing functions in a, a computer graphics things like P5JS or processing, uh, fill in the blank there, think about, really only think about coordinates in Cartesian coordinates. So the ellipse function, which draws a circle, takes an x, y, the point function, which draws a point, the line function, the rectangle function, all of these require x, y. So what if you are thinking about r theta and you want to, um, you want to have your program run with this idea of r theta, but you have to draw with x, y. So we need a formula to convert from polar to Cartesian. We also sometimes want to convert from Cartesian to polar. I'll maybe I'll talk about that in a separate video, but in this video, I just want to look at polar to Cartesian. And the way to do this boils down to trigonometry, trigonometric functions. If I have this triangle, I have a theta, an angle here, this is my r, right? So I know this point. What I want to do, this is some x, y. What I want to figure out is what is this point? And I'll call this uh, uh, x, 2, y2, or whatever. If we call this x1, y1. How do I get this point? Okay, well, if I knew what this was, I'll call this dx, as in like delta x, the change in x, and this is dy, the change in y. If I knew these two values, then I could say x1 plus dx equals x2, and, and y1 whoops, plus dy equals y2. So if I could get these two values, then I could move from here to there. So how do I get these two values from these two values? And this is, where's my eraser? This is exactly what we need to do. Okay, I've drawn the same diagram so many times now. Let's just, let's just make the math happen. Okay, so do you remember, so at some point in your life, you might have heard of a function called sine or cosine, SOHCAHTOA, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. That's referring to the sides of a right triangle. And guess what? This is a right triangle right here. This is opposite to the angle. This is adjacent to the angle. So sine of theta equals opposite dy divided by hypotenuse, which is r in this case. Cosine of the angle equals adjacent, which is dx, divided by hypotenuse, which is r. And these equations can be rewritten another way. I can simply say dy equals r times sine of theta. Now, you might be asking, how do I get from here to there? One of the things you can do with an equation is you can multiply both sides of the equation by a number. So if I multiply this side by r and this side by r, this side becomes r times sine of theta, and this side becomes just dy, because dy times r divided by r, r divided by r is 1, so this just becomes dy. And dx also becomes r times cosine of theta. So now I have those two formulas. So if I have this xy point, I have an angle and a, r, a, a distance, a, a radius, or a length, 
I don't know what to call it, then I can calculate dx and dy based on that and get that point. Let's make that happen in the code. So I have a very simple code pen here open. Uh, I'm using the p5.js library. And so the p5.js library is already loaded into this code pen project. And the link to this code pen project will be in this video's description. Um, OK, so if you want to know how to do that, I have another video about how to set up a p5.js project in code pen. So what I want to do, and actually um, just very, very simply, is I'm going to say, what if I have, uh, let me just do this all in setup, I think, right now. And we can, or, or in draw, it's fine. What if I have an x and a y, which is like 100, 100? Can you see this font is very, very um, small? OK, I'm back with a bit smaller, a bit, a bit larger font. So now, I just want to draw a point at that x, y. And I'm going to say stroke 255 to make it white. There you go. Look at that tiny little point. There it is. Hey, tiny little point. OK, now, it's a happy point. I've been wanting to say that for so long. Uh, OK, stroke weight. Let's make it a little bigger. Stroke weight 8. Uh, OK, there's my point. Ah, wait, that's not a good location for this point. Let's put it uh, further down uh, at 300. OK, now what I want to think about is, let's say at this point, I, I want to have an angle of 45 degrees. So I'm now going to make an angle equal to 45 degrees. Now here's the thing. So I want 45 degree, a 45 degree angle. 45 degrees, uh, uh, because, it, because y points down will actually rotate me this way, and I want to rotate up. So I need negative 45 degrees. Now I keep saying degrees, because that's the way I tend to think about angles. 45, 90 degrees, 360 degrees. Um, most computer graphic systems will think about angles in a unit of measurement called radians. Uh, 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. And that, that's something that, uh, um, that I'm going to just sort of ignore for this particular video. And I'm just going to say angle mode degrees. <laughs> so now P5 is going to think in terms of degrees. And I'm going to say angle negative 45. OK, now what do I do here? I remember, I, uh, I need to have a distance. So I'm going to just say maybe 100 pixels out, 100 pixels. And I need to calculate var, whoops, <laughs> r equals 100. And I need to say var uh, dx then equals um, r times cosine of that angle. And dy equals r times sine of that angle. And now I can simply just, um, now I can simply just Make another point at x plus dx and y plus dy. And let's see what we get. There it is, 45 degrees. And I could also connect those. And I can connect those with a line. And you can see, whoops. And you can see there I have this line. Now, I could change that angle. So now I could say, let me have the angle be mapped. You know, I should actually. Um, let me have it just be mapped to mouse x. So mouse x, which goes between 0 and width, I'm going to have the angle between uh, negative pi and pi. Whoops. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Negative 90 and 90, because I'm doing this in degrees. And you can see here, as I move, as I move the uh, mouse, it's changing that particular angle. OK, so this is the idea. There's a lot of applications of this. Um, you're going to see that one of the reasons why I'm making this video right now is I'm about to do a coding challenge about something called forward and inverse kinematics, where if you think of this as one segment of a robot arm, what if it's attached to another segment and another segment, and how do those all rotate relative to each other? So this is the kind of thing that you need for that. I should mention that you can also, I could have made this exact same P5 sketch with just uh, the actual rotate function. So there is a rotate function, you can draw a line, a line, and I can rotate it by an angle. And that would actually be a wonderful, perfect way of doing this as well. Um, I have some videos about that uh, um, probably as well, about how to do transformations using rotate and translate. But I, in this case, for this kinematics example that I want to make, um, having, um, having the, the, doing, doing the polar to, polar to Cartesian, Cartesian conversion in the code is a good thing. Okay, I will see you guys in a future. I hope this video was somewhat useful to you. <laughs>